Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris Hip and Six Dream Finger Picking. In this lesson, we're learning how to play my fingerstyle arrangement of Careless Whisper. Okay, so let's get into it. For this one, we're in standard tuning and I've placed the capo on the second fret, but if you want to be the, in the original tuning, then the capo would be on the fifth fret, I believe. But I find it sounds good and feels good with capo on the second fret, but you can totally change that if you want to. Anyway, the intro. goes like that. So the chords, the first one is an A minor with the ninth in it. So all I'm doing is I'm barring the top three strings on the fifth fret and I'm also playing the seventh fret on the top string. And we're going to get the A string in there as well. So what I'll do to start is I'll play the first, second, third and fifth string together. And then we lift off that pinky and we play the fifth fret on the top string then down to the next one, and then down to the next one. So that is... Sometimes I roll my fingers like... Then I'll play the bass again, then that pinky goes back on, and we play the seventh fret on the top, and then we play the bass again. So... then lift off and we do what we did before so fifth fret on the top then the second and then the third followed by one more bass so really slow you've got okay like that Kind of add that light percussive tap if you want to as well it's completely up to you but then we go down to a to a d minor seven so we hold down our d minor seven chord like this but we want to also put the third fret on the top string in there and that's our first <coughs> first kind of chord so again i'll play the whole chord together then we lift off the pinky and play the first fret on the top, then same on the second string, and then second fret on the third string. So, follow by bass, pinky goes back on, and then off again, top string, second string, third string, and then the bass. So, so if you think about it, it's exactly the same picking pattern as this. but just on this chord. It's just the bass has moved from the fifth string to the fourth string. Okay, then it's like F, F major seven. So I get my thumb around the back, play the bass there, but you don't have to, you can do it here. If you want to, up to you. But anyway, so hold down a full F chord, bass on the sixth string if you can and play strings one two three and six then open up the first string play that and then play the second string then the third and then the fourth so bass bass and then I'll strum 
down up. So. Okay, so that's your first three bars of your intro. And then we've just got this. So it starts on an E minor chord or E minor seven. So hold down the E minor and then I probably roll my fingers across or I play the bottom three strings of an E minor chord, then the third fret on the fourth string, open third string, and then second fret on the third string, and you can play that with a bass if you want to, so so far. I'm actually making it a major chord or a dominant chord, so first finger goes onto the first fret of the third string. And I'll play that with the bass and also get the second string open in there. Okay, so. And then first fret on the second string, third fret on the second string, and then open first. So the second half of this bar. And if you put that whole bar together, and that is your intro. So right the way back to the beginning, very slow. And you can go through that twice if you want to before you go into the verse. So then you're into the verse and really the whole song, the whole way through, the chord progression is A minor seven, D minor seven, F major seven, and E minor seven. The whole way through, which is really great. Um, so the verse goes something like, So, on the A minor chord, or A minor 7, what we'll do is we'll play the 1st string and the 5th string together, then the 1st, and then I do a light strum, and then I play the 3rd fret on the 2nd string. So, followed by the bass, then the 1st fret on the 2nd string, light strum, open 2nd string. Okay, so... And then bass on the D minor chord, so just the D, four, D string, and then up on the second fret of the third string. Okay, that's all I do after that. I just play the bass, ba ba ba, just the fourth string, and then first fret on the second string, and then second fret on the third string. Okay, so. Like that. And then we go to our F major seven. Okay, so F major seven, open first string, first fret on the sixth string together, then a light strum. But this time we want to play, we want to target the first fret on the top string. So, and then we're going to hammer one to three on the second string. Like that. Bass, and then third string, and then second string. I'll play that on, as it's on the count of four, 
Uh, I'll play it on a down pick, most likely, to keep the strumming thing going. It just helps the flow. So if you watch my hand... Some of them, the ones that land on the count of two and four, I play as a down pick with the back of my nail. You don't have to do that, of course, but that's just how I play it, and it, I find it helps the feel of the song as I work my way through it. So we're on the F, we played the bass note, then the third string, then a down pick on the second string, and then up on the third. Okay, then comes the E minor. So here, it starts on an E minor seven chord, and I'll play the top and the bottom string together, then the fourth string, then the third, and then down, targeting the B string third fret. Bass, and then first fret on the second string with the bass, and then again, four, three, second string open this time, bass. So slowly. That's your first four bars of the verse, so slowly. Like that. Then the second half goes like... So we're on the A minor, A minor 7 chord, play the bass, and then uh, the 2nd fret on the 3rd string, open for open 2nd string, and then the 1st fret on the 2nd string, I hope I said that right, 5th string, 2nd fret on the 3rd string, open 2nd, and then 1st fret on 2nd, so. Then the 3rd fret on the 2nd, and then open 1st. Again, that like strumming motion. And then bass, bass, and then strum a few times if you desire. That's how I do it. Down, up, down, but you could just do one or you could do two. Totally up to you. Then comes a D minor seven. So I'm holding down my D minor seven shape, play the bass, then the third string, then open second, and then first on the second, so. Then back to the third string, okay. And then third fret on the top string, followed by bass, and then I slide up to the fourth, then back down to the third and pull off, so. So you get da, 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 da. And then another strum. So. And then. So F major seven. And on the, if you could just hear on the top string, you're going. Let's just open first, open first, open first, open. And then I kind of just fill it out with the chord. So. So I'm getting the B string in there as well. So you can play it like that. That strumming thing going. So that's what you do there. And then we've got that E minor 7 again. Exactly the same as before. So as I say, I'm doing that strumming thing, but you don't have to. You could just pick.
instead of instead of doing the strumming thing that I'm doing. So play around with it, find what works best for you. Uh, but then after that, that goes into the And if you want to learn how to play that section and all the other parts of the song, that is available on my website. So if you're interested, then just follow the link through down in the, in the description and you're going to get the rest of the lesson right away. OK, so that's it for this lesson. I really hope that you've enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment and head over to sixstringfingerpicking.com where you can get the remainder of this lesson and loads more fingerstyle guitar lessons.